This has just been a horrific year for our National Rally family. Stating the obvious, tomorrow is guaranteed to no one. It happened again. At the Show Me Rally earlier this month. The Show Me Rally is an event, is, it's one of our local groups, three rallies we conduct every year in the eastern central Missouri Ozark foothills. The radio network crackled, hold cars on start of stage nine, roll safety sweep. I can't tell you how many times I've worked events and heard similar words. They'll differ from event to event, but it means there's been an incident and the safety plan takes over until the all clear is broadcast and we figure out what to do next. Our rally cars go off the road all the time. They hit trees. They fall off mountainsides. They roll over, sometimes multiple times. And sometimes they do all three of those things in one wreck. Physics is a cruel master. Fortunately, the cars are constructed to such safety standards and personal safety equipment our drivers and co-drivers wear produces such a high success ratio that usually the team is being photographed standing in front of their newly modified race car, muttering things like, oh, it'll buff out. And sometimes the car can be a total write-off and still the fraternity just raises a glass to the misfortune of a fellow racer's wallet. When this occurs, normally all the rally officials out around the course monitor the rally network, stay out of the way, and take the break in the action to munch a sandwich. It's usually just a case of how long will it take to get the road open again and will we be able to finish within our time constraints. All those decisions are usually made by higher-ups at the rally network. But once in a while, the rally gods have other ideas. Call 911, the race network radio barked. And the entire exercise took on a new urgency. The ambulance sitting with us at another stage immediately departed for the incident. Our safety procedures are spelled out. Everybody has a job to do, and a chain of command exists. First, the radio network is silenced for all but current incident communications. Roads must be kept clear for first responder, fire, and law enforcement access. From this point on, our safety officials rely on local first responders for potential fire suppression, heavy medical skills, patient transport, even helicopter evac if required. I wasn't there, but I'm certain all this happened at the New England Forest Rally back in July when we lost co-driver Aaron Kelly. But here, I'm intimately involved, as it's one of our locally produced rallies. Car number 436 with driver Kubo Kordish and co-driver Drew Carlson had obtained some damage in the right front suspension earlier in this particular racing section, and out of sheer willpower were still manhandling their well-prepared Ford Fiesta down the road, attempting to make it to the finish just two miles further. They slid off the road in a fast, open left-hand turn on this gravel road. Now, recently, forestry had removed a lot of smaller brush and saplings, which can tend to slow down a 3,000-pound errantly flying projectile. So now the first object it met was a stout 18-inch oak tree in the Kubo's driver door. The safety equipment in the car was excellent and did its job. The personal safety equipment, driver's suit, harnesses, helmet, head and neck restraining device did their job. The safety plan worked like clockwork. Fellow competitors rendered aid and scrambled to the next radio position. The stage was immediately stopped. 911 was called. The first responders were on site in minutes. All the coordinated support from local fire EMT organizations were there in a flash. Everything we planned worked. Everything was in place for it to be a successful outcome. But it wasn't. The blow was just too hard. The stats for these things in our sport over the 50 plus years I've been involved are spectacularly successful. I could count the racing fatalities in 50 plus years on two hands. Well, now plus one finger. In short term, for 2023, these stats just suck. You will be missed, Kubo. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.